Hey guys, I'm Aaron with Ailey Knives. Welcome back to my shop. Tonight I'm going to start the intermediate knife build tutorial series where I'm going to take you step for step how I build a hidden tang knife. This is next level knife making and I'm glad you guys are here. No delays, we're going to jump right into it. All right guys, so we're gonna jump right in. I have chosen to do stock removal on this and I've chosen stock removal for a reason. I really want you guys to get this right and it's gonna be much easier for you to do the guard fitment on a piece of steel that's perfectly flat, okay? You can forge a knife if you want to, if you have a surface grinder and you can flatten it out. If not, I would totally suggest getting a piece of bar stock that's precision ground because when it comes to taking your piece of brass or nickel or stainless and you drill your holes and file it out to slide it on here as your guard, it's gonna be much easier to do the fit if this is flat. I'm gonna start with a piece of nine inch long steel that's gonna give me a nice blade and enough room for my tang here. This is a 1084, it's an eighth an inch thick and I believe it's an inch and a quarter wide. I'm gonna throw it on a piece of paper. Let's get it drawn up. All right guys, so once again, same as the last build tutorial, you want the knife to fill up as much of the material as possible so you're not wasting any material. You're not cutting a whole bunch off that you, that you don't need. figure out the handle shape here that I'm gonna wanna go with. Let's see, so we'll figure, we'll put a guard in here. It's something about that big. I'm gonna want the guard to flow something like this. So one thing uh, when you're drawing up a, a knife like this is you want the handle here and here to be no larger than the blade. And actually this is too big for the handle so we're gonna have to come in here and build a notch out. And I'll show you why we do this too. So if I ran the blade right into the guard right here and I made the handle match up with the thickness of the blade. The handle is too thick, or it looks too thick, for me at least. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna make this, this is where the guard is, I'm gonna make this knife blade kick up like this. That way the blade is only this thick, that way the handle 
will be that thick. See how much better that looks when you do it that way. So your guard still comes down, your finger, finger guard. But then there it is right there. And then this is just gonna come back. Let's see, let's get this handle to drop down just a little bit in the back. Kinda just figure out, and then we're gonna flare this slightly, and then come back up into the handle. So, there we go. Something like that. That's the overall shape. I'm not gonna do a pommel on this. So. That's gonna be a really neat knife. Okay. So here's my piece of stock. You, you can see my piece of stock through the handle shape here. One thing you never want to do is you never want to cut shoulders at a 90 degree. You want to radius your shoulders in here. That, that way they'll be stronger. So let's radius the shoulder and let's bring this tang all the way back into the knife. So right here, same deal. I'm going to bring the tang with the radius shoulder all the way back into the knife. And then we're gonna look at putting a pin like right there. So when we go and grind this, we're gonna grind off all this material so we're left with the blade and this tang. And I'll teach you guys how to fit this guard material which will be made out of metal and then this will be made out of wood. And maybe we'll do something fancy by sectioning a different color piece of wood in here also. I'll look at those design elements later in the build. And then here, what we're probably gonna do is leave a flat. So this area right here should be left flat. And then we'll come out to say, right about here and start our grind. What do you say? Let's do a tall flat grind on this. A real tall flat grind all the way up to the edge. Let's do that. Let's just do a really tall. You could do either a really tall flat grind or you could go medium and then grind this top swedge also. You could grind the top like that. You could grind it like that so it has two different grinds. But I think we're going to go more of a gentleman's knife and just do a tall flat grind like that. There's a basic hidden tang knife. Now, you know me, this is just an idea of what the knife's gonna look like. We're probably gonna alter that quite a bit by the time it's done, but one thing that I like to get straight is this line right here needs to be perfectly straight or it needs to cant down from here to the tip. I don't like it when this line comes up from the guard I like the flow to be where this is low and this is low and this is the high point. I just think the knives flow better like that. I don't think that I like it when this comes up and then dips in the middle. I like this to be the highest point to come up and flow. When I grind this knife, I will make sure that the blade slightly falls off from this point to here so that I don't end up with a dip in the middle. Just one thing that I like to do there. Um, this is the other design element that I wanted to show off was how I brought in this little, you know, I'm not even sure what this would be called. It's not a Spanish notch. It's, um, it's not a place to stop for sharpening. What I'm doing here is I'm thinning out the blade or I'm actually making this area smaller so that the handle detail, when it meets up with the handle, it looks better aesthetically. Because if I brought the blade at this thickness into the guard, the handle would have to be this thick also for the handle to flow into the shape of the knife. And uh, 
to me that would be too wide of a handle. So for me to get the handle shape that I wanted, when I brought the blade back, I just dipped up like this. That way, actually, you know, it doesn't even have to be that small. You could, you could do this a lot of different ways. On a Bowie, this would come forward and have more of a hard angle right there, and, uh, and that would be a 90 degree. I personally like it to be round in there, but this is, that's just a, a design that you could choose to do yourself. You could do, you know, a 90 degree, you could do a radius angle, whatever you like. And then it, it looks cool if you do the same radius here as you do here. That could look really cool, um, but I don't think it makes too much of a difference. As long as this thickness right here is the same as this thickness right here, then you're golden. for me to throw this on here. Perfect. Just throw a little bit of layout die just in the areas where I need it. That's all I need. Alrighty. So first thing I'm gonna do is figure out where my guard's gonna go. Let's call it right there. So I put my square on there. And I mark a line. Then I can line this up with that line, right? That line's right here. And that shows me what I'm gonna have to grind off up here. Which isn't much if you've done it right. There we go. I'm gonna grind this off, I'm gonna grind this off, and then we'll throw the bevel jig on there and we'll grind in the bevels. After we do all this, then we'll go ahead and grind the tang. You don't wanna grind the tang right now because then you won't have anything to hold on to when you're trying to grind your bevels. And when you're grinding your bevels, I like to just knock these corners off here so that they don't dig into my hand when I'm using, it, using this as a handle. So I'll just kinda of round off these corners. That wraps up part one of the intermediate stock removal tutorial build series. We're gonna make a hidden tang knife. Here it is right here. We're gonna take this. We've laid it out on our piece of steel. In the next video, you can look forward to seeing me profile this, grind the bevels, and heat treat it. If you guys are just wanting to make your first knife, you should click on this link right here. It's gonna take you over to my beginning stock removal knife tutorial build series where you can make a knife from ground zero. Hey, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.